Fantine's golden cage. She made a ghost out of him. A necessity. She had never been alive to him. An automated body applying itself on his demand. And yet, after she had extrapolated him, he knows how to come back. But is it really him? When she hears the song, he appears. He's there. And her heart skips a beat. The panicked prison, he might be seen, might be felt again. Her answer is no. Her determination alone should matter. But the song keeps haunting her, challenging her with its bitter stigma. Disassociate the monster from the song, from that one moment, the many. Of false hopes and desires, mistrusted accomplishments, conclusions in disguise. It's the song that takes her back and she curses her memory. Then she comes to an end, thinking she cannot be selective. It's all or nothing with her memories. She wouldn't be the same person that she learned how to love. Without her silly mistakes and the song that stopped following her, after she liberated it and said, you may be.